This miracle neighborhood survived Hurricane Helene and the neighbors are baffled and a little pissed off because their houses got trashed. Just about the whole western side of the state of Florida got destroyed by floodwaters and winds with billions of dollars worth of damage. But I'm gonna show you why this miracle neighborhood wasn't even touched by the storm. If you're new to my channel, I'm Grant Warrington. I retired early thanks to real estate investing. Now I make videos showing people what a new life in Florida looks like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so we can explore paradise together. Let's go. Let me introduce you to Hunters Point Development located in Cortez, Florida. This neighborhood is designed to be hurricane proof and it's already survived three major hurricanes, Ian, Idalia, and Helene. Now these homes were built with resilience as their top priority. When Helene hit and storm surge filled the streets with waist deep water, the whole grid lost power, but these homes stayed high and dry and kept the lights on. Now, when I read the article in fastcompany.com about these homes, I was blown away. I'll put the link in the description for you. These homes were built with some pretty amazing hurricane resistant design features. Check it out. They got a solid concrete first floor holding up the whole building. Then every floor on top of that, they have steel straps connecting each floor to the next one. That way wind can't come in and separate these floors. They also got a steel roof. Yes, steel, not shingles like you and I have. They got a steel roof with solar panels on top. Now, when I heard this, I was a little blown away because solar panels, I'm thinking those are just gonna blow off in the wind, but not these solar panels. These are built right into the roof and designed to withstand like a category five hurricane. Pretty impressive. These solar panels have a battery backup and they're designed to hold power for up to 10 days. And that's a big advantage in the storm. Think about it, when you lose power, the first problem you have is no AC and it's hot as hell in the summer down here. You got no power going to your fridge or freezer so you're gonna lose all that food and you're not gonna be able to use your microwave or stove if it's electric so you're not cooking food. These are big problems when the power goes out but having those solar panels and that battery backup is awesome because every day in Florida, the sun's gonna come out. It happens after a hurricane. Once it passes the next day, the sun's out, the birds are chirping, and it's just like nothing happened. It's really pretty amazing. So those solar panels are gonna continue providing power until the electric company gets the power back on. Now, when they started building this home, they were in the flood zone. So they had to add three feet of dirt just to bring them out of the flood zone. Well, what this company did, which is very smart, they said, you know what? Let's add seven feet of dirt instead of three, just to be on the safe side in case there's massive flood surge like there was in this storm. Now this home's built to the current building code. So that means the first floor has to be garage or non-livable. That way, if it does flood, you're really not gonna ruin anything because all of your living space starts on the second floor. And the way they built this home, their second floor or living space is 16 feet above the flood zone. Now with this hurricane, the flooding got close to their garages, but it never entered their home. And it was at no point ever close to coming up to that second floor living space. Now the new building code emphasizes hurricane resistant features like impact resistant windows and outward swinging doors. And those hurricane windows are not cheap, but it sure beats the hell out of taking some plywood and having to cover all your windows before a storm. And the reason for the outward swinging door is because if the door swings inward, it's more prone to get blown open by wind or debris. Now with reinforced jams, it's much harder to blow that door in. They also have reinforced roof systems with tie down straps to keep the roof from blowing away. These features add to the structural integrity of the home and they also lower insurance premiums. But these homes are not cheap. They're around $1.25 million. But to be able to ride out a storm like Helene and take on no damage, that's priceless. And insurance companies are still willing to cover these property despite increasing disasters in Florida. But this isn't a new concept. There's another company out there building hurricane-proof homes and they've been doing it for a while now. Dell Tech Homes specializes in hurricane-resistant round homes and they've been doing it since 1968. The round design prevents wind pressure buildup, avoiding structural failure. They use double-strength lumber, reinforced windows, and radial trusses for added durability. Their homes have survived hurricanes like Sandy, Katrina, and Hugo 
with minimal damage, only a few lost shingles. You can also get these homes solar powered and the pricing depends on the size of the home you want built but their smallest model starts around $46,000, not bad. So choosing the kind of house you wanna buy and the neighborhood is the most important factor when you move to Florida. If you wanna live on the water, I suggest you buy a new built home that's up to the latest building codes for hurricanes. And if you don't have on the water money, like me, I suggest you buy in a non-flood zone and a non-evacuation zone. That's what we did. And we never lost power or had any damage in Hurricane Helene. Thank goodness. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. That lets YouTube know you found this video valuable and they'll share it with more people. I got another video right here I know you're gonna love. Click this video and I'll see you there.